Of course, we're here today and for the next couple of days to celebrate the centenary of George Batchelor. And one of George's great legacies to the world was the founding of the Journal of Fluid Mechanics in 1956. Volume one, issue one, published in May of 1956, contained just eight papers. And in those early years, there were six issues per year. Today, there are 24 volumes per year with 30 to 40 papers in each volume. And I recall probably in the mid nineties, uh, sitting next to George at lunch one day who remarked that it would be wonderful to see JFM reach volume 500. And he asked me if I thought that number would ever be reached. Uh, well, the special volume that accompanies this celebration is volume 914, uh, not too far off a thousand. So twice as uh, twice George's hope. George had the vision to see that fluid mechanics held a special place at the intersection and encompassing broad areas of engineering, physics, and mathematics. He also understood the symbiosis of theory, experiment, and application. And so while the journal was focused on fluid mechanics, it defied too narrow a characterization as an applied maths journal on the one hand or a physics journal on the other. Today, the importance of fluid mechanics is understood in almost every branch of science and technology, spanning the nanoscale to the galactic. And whereas in the early years, papers tended to focus on pure hydrodynamic interactions, today the subject includes interactions with deformable structures, with chemistry, with biology, and uh, many other forces of nature. The bringing together of fluid mechanics into one volume had the advantage of showing how fluid mechanical principles learned in one branch of science could find application in another. In this sense, JFM has tended to focus on fundamental or generalizable aspects. In the industrial language of research development and production, JFM perhaps sits more squarely in the re research mold. And there are many specialized journals these days in oceanography and microfluidics, for example, that might be thought of as at the production end of things in this crude analogy. There seemed to be space in the sphere of development, taking fundamental fluid mechanical ideas and showing how in principle these could be applied. And it was into this space that the new journal Flow was conceived as a sister journal to JFM. And I'm pleased that uh, its uh, editor-in-chief, Juan Santiago, uh, will say a few words about flow in just a moment. Now, George was correct in his vision that fluid mechanics deserves its own space in the scientific universe, and many other fluid mechanical journals have come into being since the foundation of JFM. Foremost of these was Physics of Fluids, whose mantle is now worn by Physical Review Fluids. And it's a pleasure and an honor to have the new editors-in-chief of PR Fluids, Beverly McKeon and Eric Lauger, with us today. And uh, Beverly will say a few words in just a moment. So just in closing, let me remind you, if uh, you didn't know already, that the entire volume associated with this celebration has been published open access. And I hope that you'll enjoy all the contributions to that volume that would have been featured uh, with live presentations at this event uh, as it was originally planned. But uh, you can see all the, the research, exciting research uh, there.